In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Enzoi DirectX 12 not supported in your system error. So, in case you're having an error in this game and can't even launch it, I'm going to show you how to fix it or all the possible fixes. Now, don't worry, this is written down in Word, however, I'm going to show you each and every single step here on my computer and hopefully we can fix this issue together. Now, the first thing you want to do is to check whether you even have the DirectX 12 installed on your computer. Now you can see this in DXDIAG. Now the way you can get this is by simply going down here uh, to either start or over here to search and typing in run. When you type this in, you want to click on run. And then in here, you want to type this exact word, which is DXDIAG. So over here in this dialog box, you want to type that in and type and click OK. Now, when you click OK, it will open up this window over here, which is the DirectX diagnostic tool. OK, and over here, you want to look at the very bottom where it says DirectX version and it says DirectX 12. Now, if it says DirectX 12, we can continue and that's it. There's nothing more you need. But if it doesn't, if it says, let's say 11 or 12, uh, I mean 11 or 10, we can do one thing to make it 12. OK, and what you want to do. So DirectX is depending on Windows. What you want to do, you have to update Windows to the latest version and you should be good to go. And the way you do this is by going down here to your Windows yet again and typing in update. There we go. And as you can see, it will uh, kind of search up, check for updates inside system settings. You want to click this to open it up. And then when it opens up, it will either say you're up to date or there's an update available. Now, if it doesn't say you're up to date or if it does, you still want to click check for updates and see whether your computer and Windows will be able to find an update for your computer. If it does find an update, make sure to update your computer. And if it's available and if you're using Windows 11, it's going to update the latest DirectX, which is DirectX 12. Now, that's the first thing you want to do. And the first thing you want to make sure is done. OK, now what you then want to do is go to device manager and check which drivers you have. Now, that's very easy. You want to go to search down here again, type in device manager, click on it. And then it's going to say I'm logged in. It says it doesn't matter this. OK, you want to press OK if it pops up, if it doesn't even better. Now, in here, as you can see, you have multiple things. Now you want to look for display adapters, which is this thing over here and has the icon of a monitor. OK, now in here, you want to extend this by double clicking it or simply clicking this arrow and you want to see which drivers you have or which graphics card you have in case you don't know. So for me, I have the integrated AMD Radeon graphics. However, I also do have a GeForce RTX RTX 3050 laptop GPU inside my laptop, which isn't a dedicated, which is basically a dedicated graphics card and it's not integrated. <clears throat> now, what you then want to do with this information is save it, write it down somewhere because we're going to need it later on. OK, now then what you want to do is download the newest, newest NVIDIA or AMD or Intel drivers. Now, it's very easy to do this for both NVIDIA and AMD through their apps I'm going to show you right now. However, it can be a bit tricky for Intel because Intel usually, usually has only the integrated uh, cards, which can be a bit problematic because not all of them support this game. The way you can do this for NVIDIA, though, in case you have NVIDIA, you want to go to Google and type in NVIDIA app or GeForce experience. It doesn't matter. Each of them will work. They're pretty much the same app. I mean, it's very similar. And then once you have this, I'm going to show you what to do. Now, I have it installed on my laptop. As you can see, I'll open it up. It's the GeForce experience version. As I said, it doesn't matter. Then once you're in here, you want to have to log in and click on drivers up here. Now you want to click these three dots first over here and make sure you have checked the game ready driver as it says provides the best gaming experience. Once you've done this, as you can see over here, um, it has a green kind of circle next to it. It means that's done. You then want to click check for updates. It will check for updates and give you the freshest and newest NVIDIA Studio, I mean game ready driver. You want to click download and it will install and download this driver automatically to your computer. Now, after that, you want to simply restart your computer and try running the Enzoi game and see if that fixes the issue. Now, for you, 
um, AMD driver, uh, driver users, okay, AMD graphics card users, you want to download AMD Adrenaline, okay, which is basically a similar app from AMD. As you can see, I have it installed over here. I'm going to open this up. And in here, you're going to log in again. And then under System, you'll be able to see over here, it says Home of there. You want to click Home. And then over here where it says driver and software, you want to see the current version. Now, if it says update available or anything like this, you want to update to the latest version and you'll be good to go. Okay. After that, again, you want to restart your computer and then you'll be able to uh, kind of launch in Zoe and hopefully f play it. Now, if none of that worked, okay, if none of that worked, uh, what you can do is manually download the newest NVIDIA or AMD or Intel drivers. Now, the way you do this for NVIDIA is by going to this link, which is nvidia.com slash en dash us slash drivers. Okay. You want to open this up. And then once you do, I'll show you over here. You will be on this website where you can manually search for drivers for your graphics card. Now you simply put in your graphics card. Okay. You, you can see uh, which ones are, are available and you can select the one you have uh, for me to be 3050 and then you can manually download and install the driver and then yet again you can see if that works. Again the same goes for this AMD website over here. Simply go to this website as you can see on my screen you can just re rewrite it and then over here you can search for your product or simply download the latest drivers up here. Then third we have Intel. And as I said, Intel is the most problematic. And also, uh, what I wanted to say earlier, if you go back to our device manager over here, that we did uh, just earlier, if you have only one thing under display adapters, you may be in trouble because that usually means you only have one graphics card, which is the integrated graphics card, let's say from Intel, AMD, or whatever you have. And that means you will probably have a hard time of playing this game or trying to play this game at least. Now. But if you don't, if you have a dedicated Intel graphics card, what you want to do is simply go to this link over here or simply type uh, Intel download drivers um, inside Google. OK, I'm going to show you here in a second in my second monitor. There we go. Now you want to type Intel download driver and then go download Intel drivers and software. And then in here you want to go to graphics. And then look for your product, the one you have, and then hopefully this will fix your issue. So just download it, install it, and that's it. Now, that's pretty much it. Those are all the possible fixes, okay? And if none of these worked for you, I also have some hope. Just hear me out. Unfortunately, Inzoi, most of the time, okay, requires a dedicated graphics card, which I just show you what it looks like if you have two graphics cards or two, two uh, adapters on, uh, inside the... Uh, device manager, it usually means you have a dedicated graphics card. If you have one, it usually means you have an integrated graphics card. Now, the demo version also needs the graphics card to support DirectX 12.2, okay, which is a bit more advanced DirectX 12. And in most older laptops, so if you don't have a new laptop, if you have a, um, let's say, an older gaming laptop from 2018 or older, laptops probably don't have the drivers for it, okay? So you probably won't be able to play it. However, uh, the developers of the game are very aware of that and they are working on the possible fixes and they will probably fix it because, well, they're the developers of the game. Now, which means you should be able to play very soon even with an integrated graphics card, okay? So that's good news for you. Um, it should say integrated over here, but doesn't matter right now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are all the fixes. If none of that worked for you, it probably means you'll have to wait for them to make the game um, available to play with integrated graphic card as well. And that's pretty much it. So I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.